Welcome to this video lesson on data modeling. After completing this video, you will be able to define data modeling and its importance, model solution steps to the problem statement on EPL, and predict the winner of the current EPL season. In reference to data science, modeling means formulating every step and gathering the techniques required to achieve the solution. All the calculations cannot be performed at once or parallelly. You need to list down the flow of the calculations, which is nothing but modeling steps to the solution. The second important factor, is how to perform the calculations. There are various techniques under statistics and machine learning, that you can choose based on the requirement. For EPL data, we chose to use statistical techniques to predict the winner in the current season. Based on the data analysis, pattern, and insights drawn, every data scientist can formulate different steps to solve the problem. For illustration purposes, we can formulate steps as shown here. Let's get started with the first step. As per the data of the last three seasons, we have learned that the winner of EPL is changing, but the top six clubs remain the same. These clubs are Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, and Tottenham Hotspur. The winner this season, is very likely to be from these top six teams. We will perform all our modeling on these six clubs. As we know, in football, a player can be an attacker, defender, midfielder or a goalkeeper. Each of these positions, requires a different set of physical skills. A player is assigned a score, based on his physical skills and the position he is playing in. The scores are given on a scale of 0 to 100 as shown here. For example, a goalkeeper requires skills such as diving, handling, positioning, reflexes etc. Similarly, for other positions, skills are shown on the screen. Each of these skills is assigned a weight. Various skills and their weightages, are collected from EA Sports. We have also collected the players' names of the top six clubs for the current season, from the official Premier League website. Let's take the goalkeeper from Manchester City, Ederson. His ratings for goalkeeping skills are as follows. You can calculate the overall rating of Ederson, by multiplying the ratings with their respective weights, and taking the sum, which gives Ederson an overall rating of 84.08. Similarly, this is done for all the players. By now, we have the overall ratings of all players in each club. To calculate the rating of the club, we need to consider the overall ratings of the 11 team members. We have assumed three attackers, four midfielders, three defenders, and one goalkeeper, for each team. And selected the player, based on play time in the previous season. Based on this selection, the ratings for Arsenal is as shown. To calculate it, you can take the average of the rating column. This gives Arsenal an overall rating of 80.01. Similarly, the overall rating of the other five clubs is calculated. You can refer to the calculations in the upcoming Excel document. In the next step, we rank the performance of the teams, based on the number of wins, and difference in goals. Considering 80% weightage to the player's skills, and 20% weightage to the past performance of the clubs, we get the final ranking of the top six clubs. Based on these calculations, Tottenham Hotspur, is likely to win this season. In the next section, you will learn how to present, and communicate your analysis, using visualization methods.